please stand up or make a move if you've ever signed a petition. Stay standing, stand up, or make a move if you've ever joined a march or a demonstration. Stay standing, stand up, or make a move if you've ever donated to a cause. Stay standing, stand up, or make a move if you consider yourself an activist. Nice to meet you. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to think revolutions were only about cannons and wars and heroic men winning the day. And then I learned how women gained the right to vote in Canada, how groups of women got together and decided they were going to do this. They organized themselves and doggedly pursued it for decades, facing humiliation and retaliations, but never giving up. That knowledge changed my life. That was when I realized there are many kinds of revolutions, and that we can all be part of them. What are some examples of these revolutions? Next year marks the centennial of women's suffrage in the Netherlands. Women secured the right to vote 71 years after the first men in this country secured it. It took women almost a lifetime to achieve it. And it happened just over a lifetime ago, assuming a lifetime is about 80 years. This year marks 155 years since the abolition of slavery in the Netherlands. It was one of the last countries in the world to do this. It happened about two lifetimes ago and took almost three lifetimes to make happen. Less than 20 years ago, the Netherlands became the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. That was in just 2001, within most of our lifetimes. Yet it took almost three lifetimes to get us there. Before that, sexual activity between people of the same sex had been a criminal offense. Each of these was a huge move forward for social justice, traveling an immense journey from no to possible to yes, from hopes and dreams to practical action and everyday action, to today's reality. For me, social justice can be defined as an affirmation of humanity. Its ultimate goal is for everyone to live as liberated and as joyous a life as possible. Yet as momentous as they were, these events were just moments in the broader revolutions for justice that they are each a part of. These social justice revolutions are not finished yet. The world is not yet what we need it to be. It is possible and necessary to change this. People are doing it every day. We can join them. There are no shortage of social justice causes one might get involved with. Personally, I choose feminism. I've been a feminist activist most of my life because I believe very deeply that women and girls deserve better. Better than the violence that inhabits and shadows our lives. Better than our voices and choices not being taken very seriously from inside our own homes, right up to the highest levels of political office. Better than having to fight for basic rights, like equal pay, or access to services like healthcare and abortions. But smashing the patriarchy, as the jargon goes, is not possible 
by one woman acting alone. Revolutions happen because many people work together over time to make them happen. Working together is really important because when we do, we're more likely to succeed. It's also less scary because it's actually less risky when there are more people involved. It's also way more fun. I do most of my feministing these days by working at an organization called Mama Cash, created right here in Amsterdam by a group of lesbian feminists 35 years ago. Mama Cash exists to support feminist activism through something called solidarity funding. What does that mean? It means we collect money from people that care and channel it to feminist activists making change. Activists like these women from the Home-Based Women Workers Federation in the Sindh province of Pakistan. These women make clothing and jewelry that we wear, working for up to 12 hours in their own homes and earning one dollar. Using money that Mama Cash was able to channel to them from people all around the world, they campaigned for 16 years to convince their government that the work they do should be regulated and that they should receive things like a minimum wage. Last year, they won. Four million women now have rights that they didn't have before. Stories like these can be incredibly inspiring, yet they can also feel a bit far from our lives. So I'm here to share a not-so-secret secret. Anyone can be an activist. Sometimes the most prominent activists are actually the most well-off in society because they're the ones with the access to the power and the information that supports them to act. Sometimes people are activists because they have to be. No one else will or can act on their behalf, and things are really bad. Their activism is in self-defense. Most of the activists I work with at Mama Cash fit in this category. Sometimes people are activists because we know the world is not yet what it needs to be, it is possible and necessary to change this. People are doing it every day. If we join them, we can help. Not all of us will be taking to the streets with our activism, though it may be important that we do sometimes. Protest and dissent are critical parts of social justice change. But there are many different ways that one can get involved in activism. Some of us have time, some of us money, some of us knowledge, some of us skill, some of us connection. All of these are necessary for these revolutions. So I want us to try something. Take a moment. Think about your world. Where do you live? Where do you work? Who do you meet? Where do you think a change is needed? What really bothers you, or what do you really care about? If you've got a few issues on your mind, try to focus on just one for a moment. Where can you make a difference? What time, money, knowledge can you offer that would help? Who can you connect with to make that offer? Which organization, person, group, institution can you engage with to make a difference? Now turn to a person next to you and in a few seconds, share your idea out loud with them. <laughs> Thank you. Come back. Hello.
Thanks. These kind of actions are the stuff of revolutions. They're what I call everyday activism. Revolutions happen because people choose to act and be active every day together. Because people make a habit out of acting with others for change. Habits can be built. We can all develop them. So too our activism, so that they become part of our everyday. We each have one lifetime. And it can be revolutionary. The world is not yet what we need it to be. It is entirely possible and necessary to change this. People are doing it every day. Let's join them. <laughs>